Hello everyone, this is Simrax, and welcome back to Minecraft Freestyle Let's Play. So, had a little issue recording this morning. I had installed Optifine, and I'm using the GeForce uh, overlay to record with. It doesn't work with Optifine, so I'm going to have to find a different solution. Anyway, I have all these random torches laying around. <laughs> So I had an idea yesterday, I've been hearing about it recently, about auto crafting, so I did some research, but there's no way to do it without using mods or cheats, which the only mod I was wanting to use in this game was Optifine, and I don't want to use cheats at all. But I think we can come up with a semi-automatic crafting solution. What I'm wanting to do is take our kelp and instead of having to craft it manually in kelp blocks like this, I mean, I'll still have to do this part manually, but not have to run back and forth. I'm trying to just streamline it a little bit. Go ahead and get some sleep here. Alright. So yeah, I have somewhat of an idea. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do, obviously, is make a way to separate the kelp, the dried kelp, from everything else. Which is going to mean adding on to this item sorter. I had walled all this in and placed some more beds down because we were running out of bed space for all our villagers. And I also modified a few things in here to kind of streamline things a little better. It's making potatoes. I don't think anything's. I don't know why that's even in there. Ah, that'll make some dried kelp for us. I have a few pieces on me, so it doesn't matter. I need to get over here. I can't see from that side. And that's something else I'm going to have to move. Is that. For now, I'm just going to go under it. Oh, apparently there was an Enderman there that died. I do not have our villagers wandering in and out while I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a temporary gate here. Because I opened that up for them so they could get through. That is not the right direction. There, that should stop them from getting through there. Because I need to tear this wall out. And I guess I'm going to need to take these beds up. It's going to come right up to our smelter system there, isn't it? Let's see what kind of system I've got going on here. I think I'm going to have to take out a little bit of floor so I can see how I need to do this. Of course, I'll be fishing pieces of plank out of everywhere, but be alright. So most likely I'm going to have to move that chest over one place again. I'm going to put another hopper in there facing this way and okay yeah I got it. I know what we need to do. Looks like I need to also take these out. And I need that particular hopper out of there. Oh I bet that just made a mess. Oops. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that gives us a little room to work. Get that hopper out. Hopefully we caught it. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we got it pointing that way. I don't want a chest there. There's our chest. Alright, let's go ahead and build up our tea. You guys have seen me do this before, so I'm not going to get into a big tutorial on the item sorter. Alright, there's our item sorter set up. I don't know if I should go ahead and throw our kelp in there now or not. We need to figure out where it's going to go. I ideally like it going up here. So we might build up an elevator. Like right here. I think that's what we're going to do. Buddy, you're in the way, dude. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a dropper elevator right here. A couple more hoppers to bring it this way. And then one, two should be okay. 
if our gall will ever get out of our way, that would just be fantastic. We're going to put our dropper right here. We're going to make a placeholder block and another one, and we're going to bring our hoppers right to that. So what, what like three more hoppers? So in a place I can't get out of. Yeah, two more. I thought I had some droppers around. Let me go find those. Okay, I found my droppers. So we're going to set both these guys point straight up. We need to build our circuit, which is going to be a square. I like to keep it as compact as I can. I can't really go that way because if I power that hopper, it's going to lock it up. So I guess I kind of have to go this way. It'll be alright. It's a comparator. Got a redstone. Redstone. And if we need a repeater right there, grab one of them real quick. Toss some randomness in this hopper. It ought to come out the top, I think. I did that right. I did not do that right. <laughs> I didn't do that right at all. I see what I did. Oh, that's hilarious. Anybody else catch what I did there? Grab them out. Grab that out. Let's toss all those cobblestone back in there. There we go. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. So if I wonder we should be able to use a dropper for that and just have it give us the items, yeah. And I know we can't do that. I don't think it'll pull it all the way up if I put a third dropper in. Let's check. I think that style only goes up too high. Oh, uh, we've got power going to that hopper. That ain't good. Glad I caught that. If we can fix it real quick. Alright, let's test this again and see if... getting anything coming out of that top. No, we're not. It's because we don't have any power going to it. Hmm. I'm trying to keep that circuit as compact as possible. So I don't really want to build up another uh, torch tower. Because that's going to extend it a good bit. I might have to, though get things where we want them to be. It'll be one, two, three, and four. Or three. Let's try that real quick, because this isn't going to do it for us. And then we want number four pointing at us somewhere. Let's go ahead and take out this circuitry here. Get that out, and that out, that out. Put our torches up this side, so we need this filled in here, and then redstone, comparator, redstone, torch, uh, think a repeater, there, had <laughs> to make some room so I could see what I'm doing, alright, torch, torch, one, a temp block, Block the torch. I can get up there. Okay, that should, for all intents and purposes, be functional. Let's throw something in it. Alright. Where'd all our cobblestone just go? In there. Okay, so. What have I done wrong? This should be. Torch, torch. I've got the whole tower in the wrong place is what I've done. So torch there, torch here, and then we need a temp block. Whoops. A temp block and a block. You need to move or I'm going to kill you. Get out of here. Oh, you can't move. Shit. Whoops. Guess we're going to kill him now. I wanted to keep him too. He's kind of our little buddy down in here. Alright, so that needs out. We need a torch here. I do believe that should do it. Also, 16 cobblestone in there. Still not making it all the way up. 
that one subtract mode. Now we should be getting things coming up that dropper up there. Yep. Okay, so we got that part fixed. Ah, I realize what I just said probably sounded like Chinese to some people, so I want to uh, just show you what I mean real quick. And I'll leave a card up on the screen here to an excellent uh, video Mumbo Jumbo did about three years ago on how comparators work. Alright, so comparator here, we're going to look at this one and this one. Actually, we're just going to toss one down. If I have any only, I don't. Anyway, you see the comparator, it's got four sides, obviously. So, subtract mode basically lets just for sake of argument. Why is there a comparator there? That's supposed to be a repeater. I'll have to fix that in a minute. Uh, but for sake of argument, let's say we have a power of 13 coming out of the bottom of that comparator. Okay. And then we have a power of 10 coming into the side. Subtract mode basically subtracts the side from the bottom, or the end there. So when you put it in subtract mode, you're subtracting, we said what, 13? So if we have 13 here, we have 10, 3, 10, 3. We have 13 here, and we have 10 here. If you subtract those two, when it comes back around on the clock, it's outputting a power of 3 again. I don't want to screw anybody up, so let's make that correct. There we go. Although the tower did still work with the comparator there, which was a little bit funky. So let's go, we go test real quick and make sure we still got it right. But the other one works, so I don't see why that wouldn't work, because that's the way it's supposed to be. We're going to put our 19 cobblestone in here. We got a dropper shooting them at us. We'll make some prettier later on, and I'm throwing stone everywhere. So we don't just want them able to go everywhere. There we go, and we'll put this, whoops, put a couple blocks on there. And probably a crafting table at our feet. Or a crafting table could actually be one of those. Let's put our crafting table right there. I kind of like it right here. Because I think I can reach that fuel thing. I can't reach the fuel thing from where we're standing. Shit. Can I reach that block? No. I can reach that block. I can't reach that one. So... That's easy enough to fix. If we just toss a hopper and a little chest right there, we've got it. I almost bet, though, if we stand right there, stand three blocks away from it, I think our items will still make it to us. Let's give that a shot. Oh, heck yeah, they will. They'll still make it to us. It's like we could come all the way out here and they'll still make it to us, and then we can still not reach that. Damn it, can reach that, though. So we're going to stand here. We're going to put our crafting table right here. We can reach that block, so we're going to take that piece of floor out, and now just toss in a hopper. Okay, so short of filling all this in, the only thing left to do with this is to set up our filter, which we've got something in there already, which is not what we want in there, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we got some kelp in there. We do want kelp in there. Filter material in here, and we'll have to go grab something that doesn't go through the system once it's cooked, and that will be cobblestone or dirt. Have a crap ton of cobblestone. Yeah. What's that on? Oh. <laughs> Alright. So we need to get back up here. We need to... Let's take out all this kelp. And let's do our 11 cobblestone in each of the... And then we need one kelp there. So if we toss in kelp to that first hopper there, 
it should now make it all the way down to there and up to the top. Yep, it is. Well, the only problem with this is we don't have a way to shut it off. And this machine pretty much runs automatically, producing kelp and smelting it. So that's our big problem, is being able to turn that off. That's our last thing we need to figure out, is how do we turn that off? and be able to also turn it back on what if we just put a lever there right over top I know I've got levers around here there we go I wonder if that locked it let's toss our kelp back in here again we have nothing coming out toss it down the wrong side did I no I didn't okay so yes we can lock it with just a freaking lever, although we're not getting all our kelp coming through because we now have a lever there. Something is wrong. We have 20 kelp stuck right there, and I think it's because of that lever. All right, so we got all our kelp. The only thing I can think of, if I can't lock that with a lever, I'm probably not going to be able to lock it with any kind of redstone. So we have a torch there. Let's go ahead and put a piece of floor down. I do have an idea. I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. We've got... I don't know if, it's, if it'll mess with that or not. But let's go ahead and try this real quick. I don't think we can put it on a repeating or on an automatic circuit to do this. Because if I make it automatic, then it's just going to keep going anyway. What if we just put our lever like that? So right now we've got no power going to it. Oops, that was a repeater, that was not a lever. Now we have power going to it. I hope we don't end up with the same problem. Let's put our kelp up there. It's coming out. That stops it. Turn it back on. It starts coming out again. All right, got that part figured out. Okay, so that'll shoot our kelp at us. We can turn it off if we want to go away and lock it up. There's our kelp blocks. So if we go feed a shit ton of bone meal into the system, we can just stand here, make our fuel, toss our blocks in that hopper. Can't reach that hopper from here. Oh yeah, I can. I mean, I can still put it, and then toss the kelp in there, that goes to our fuel system. Cool, that means I don't have to stand here and run between that chest, that chest, the crafting table. I can stand here, when I'm ready for fuel, I can flip that, kelp will come out. Yeah. That'll work. Not going to be clickbaity and call this automatic. I've seen other people do something similar. Try to call it automatic. It's not automatic because you still have to do something. Uh, like I said, the only way I can find online anywhere that you can have fully automatic crafting is with command blocks or mods. So, with that said, guys, my name is Ben Simrex. Another little uh, redstone video for you. I hope you learned a few things. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you'd like to see some more like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.